I am joined by the Imo State Governor and candidates of the All Progressives Congress APC, Senator Hope Zedima, for discussion on the state governorship election and matters arising. Your Excellency, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Great to have you on the program. So it's less than uh, 48 hours to the governorship election in Imo and two other states. How has the campaign been? Well, it's uh, very interesting, uh, though very stressful, but interesting and encouraging because of the response and the enthusiasm we got from the field. So, so far, so good. All right. So you dropped your deputy, Placid Njoku, uh, to pick a woman, Chiyere Komaru, as running mate for this election. I would like to know what informed that decision. Well, uh, among other factors, uh, gender inclusion and uh, also uh, even representation of both the male and female interests in the polity. And also recognizing the fact that women really are also committed stakeholders in the society who wants they take up a project, uh, bring seriousness to beer, and also shows commitment to the project. So apart from being a lawyer, what stands her out amongst other, other persons you could have considered? Yeah, she is actually loved by ma many, and also a committed member of the Anglican Communion, and uh, also a lecturer with uh, Avani Koko University of Education. And uh, over the years, has worked very uh, well with uh, not only her husband, who is also a senior advocate of Nigeria and uh, a very successful lawyer, have also carried herself very well, that she has this tremendous goodwill that follows her everywhere she go. And once given an assignment, does those jobs with commitment. And uh, the Imo women, as a matter of fact, likes her. So choosing her as my running mate will enhance the prospects of the ticket and also will encourage the more women in Imo State to join our campaign and uh, our government. All right, so let's get to some of the intriguing factors ahead of this election. Uh, there is this fear of violence about the election in Imo State. How would you describe the temple uh, now with less than 48 hours to the election? I lost you. I don't know whether you can hear me. I can. All right, let's take a break and, I'll, and I will be right back. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Politics Tonight, and thank you very much for staying with us. On the program tonight is the Imo State Governor and candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Senator Hope Uzodima. Your Excellency, before we went on that break, I wanted us to talk about some of the intriguing factors ahead of this election, one of which is fear of violence about the election in Imo State. How will you describe the tempo now with less than 48 hours to the election? Your Excellency, did you get that? All right, let me repeat that question. Uh, there is this fear of violence about the election in Imo State. How will you describe the tempo now uh, with less than 48 hours to the election? I had 48 hours to the election. All right, I may have to increase my voice. Uh, 
There is this fear of violence about the election in Imo State. So I'm asking, how will you describe the tempo now with less than 48 hours to the election? Fantastic. If, if, if the security situation in Imo State has been professionally managed by security agencies in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, our people are so enthusiastic, activities are bubbling in Imo State, and our people are expectant, waiting for Saturday to come so that they can come out and vote, cast their votes. The unfortunate incident of the past, that we are insecurity, mostly politically contrived insecurity, greeted Imo State, and so many people died in the process, buildings and properties destroyed, sponsored by the so-called opposition parties, uh, is now a thing of the past. So we are here, uh, from what we have seen, INEC looked very prepared. Security agencies are also prepared. As of this afternoon, all the materials for the election have been deployed to the various local government areas. And the staff of INEC have also been posted to the polling uh, local government areas. So we are waiting for Saturday to come so that our people will come out and cast their vote. So we are very confident from what we have seen that we'll have a very free, fair, credible, and transparent election. So in the last uh, governorship election in Imo State, it took efforts of the court for you to get your mandate. How confident are you about outright victory this time? Uh, in 2019, it was a very bitter experience where votes cast in 388 polling units, my area of strength, where people voted for me, but the results were excluded. It took almost nine months litigation, going from one court to other, until finally we got to Supreme Court, where the results of those polling units were brought back to count, and then declaration made by the Supreme Court. Going forward, that is a very big lesson, a bitter one for that matter. This time around, my political party, All Progressive Congress, would we'll deploy credible party agents to all the polling units where we will amend our votes, follow up through to the collection center, ensure that the result at the polling unit that was announced is the, will be entered into the collection, a world collection center result, from world collection center to local government collection center up to the state. We are going to be very vigilant will not allow the mistake of the past. That is why I thank the Almighty God for making this day possible. Today, as we speak, the propaganda, the social media propaganda, media blackmail. This is an opportunity now to show whether Hopu Zodema won the election of 2019 or not, whether Hopu Zodema is loved by his people or not. Saturday, by the grace of God, we determine that because my people will come out again in mass to vote for the man they trust, the man who from 2020 to date have shown the difference. The narrative have changed. The public, the absolute lack of confidence, uh, confidence has been restored back to government, and government is once more being appreciated in the state. So as a sitting governor who is seeking a second term in office, why do you think you deserve to be re-elected? Well, if you know where we are coming from and where we are now, in 2019, or when I came 2020, you know, everything, it was like Imo State was broken down. Things fell apart. The center couldn't hold. There was no road, accessible road. The education system collapsed. The health, cent health sector collapsed. B business activities crumbled. 
So I came with a new initiative, with my three R mantra, which is rehabilitation, reconstruction, and recovery. I started rebuilding the roads, quality roads. Started rebuilding the health facilities, rebuilt the school system, brought back uh, public confidence to governance, restored the dignity of civil service, restored the payment, the regular payment of salaries, took care of my pensioners, created a social order that allows people to go about their businesses until the unfortunate incident of banditry, insecurity, unknown government, and other forms of criminality started in Imo State. So Imo people are very excited. They are waiting, they are waiting for Saturday to come. I'm, I'm confident, going by the number of endorsements and the enthusiasm I've seen on the faces of Imo people, I'm very confident that my party, All Progressive Congress, have performed even beyond expectation.